Well, hi there, it's Brooke, and today I have my one tray three ways for you. I have picked out some summer themes, so we're gonna do like a red, white, and blue, and then two kind of summer themes for you. So this is the end of the patriotic and into the summer, so it's kind of a good little transition. I'm excited, all these tree, <laughs> all these three trays came out super cute and I hope you enjoyed them so let's get to it. Like I said my first tray is going to be a red white and blue and I literally that's what I did. I did red white and then blue. So let's start with the top. Like I said I did a red white and blue and I kind of wanted to use my mini cloche and then it kind of became a theme throughout all the trays for this video. So I just took one of those red plaid hearts and kind of set it in that cloche up in there and it just fits like super tight and like it's you know kind of floating in there. And so there was my first red piece and then for my second red piece I decided to use my little star succulent. I just laid down there and then oops, I pulled out my little red and white checked house and I just propped that up in the back. So there's my red tier. For my white tier, I just gathered some white stuff and my white stuff is not at all patriotic. <laughs> So I have my happy candle from Ray Dunn, which I've used for many holidays because, you know, happy 4th of July, happy New Year's, it just works well for all that. I grabbed one of my little Target dollar spot houses, and then over on the other side, I did grab a little tin bucket, and then my two white flowers, pop those in the bucket, and then there you go, there's my white tier. So I had a little harder time with the blue tier just because it's a little bigger. And so I just grabbed this little navy glass jar and I threw that in the back there. And then I have my blue star I decided to use. And then my blue star succulent. And I didn't really have like anything else blue that I could put over there that, you know, kind of went with the rest of the theme with like the flowers and the stuff like that. And then I remembered I have this group of these little like palm flowers, but they are like a hard plastic. And usually I like to put flowers, you know, kind of in like a tin. So I decided just to grab this tall olive bucket from Michael's and kind of get those positioned in there. And then that was my last blue. So it kind of has a floral, but it's definitely a red, white, and blue theme. You could easily leave this out all summer. It's not like over the top 4th of July or anything like that. the second tray whenever I kind of do a summer theme I really love to use succulent so that was kind of my first jumping point and since I decided to use the cloche in all of them that's what I started with this is just a succulent that I popped off of another one and I did have to cut it down so it would fit in here nice but I just kind of popped it right in there so I started with that succulent theme and I just kind of grabbed all my succulents and I thought it'd be fun to use this little gray one that I have so I popped that back there which in turn, then I was like, well, I should use that gray vase I have. So I popped him up there. And then another thing that I really wanted to use was another like jumping off point for this tray. I wanted to use this little pot that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I just grabbed these succulent picks. I want to say these are in the wedding section and I do have three of them here. And I just grabbed them, popped those in there and put that down here for another focal point. So those were kind of the three pieces that got, or four pieces, I guess they got me going. And so then I knew I just wanted to fill in with succulents. So I have this long succulent, which is always just so fun to use, but I couldn't get it to just like lay on here. So I decided to put it in this little wicker basket, which is also another Hobby Lobby bridal find. And I just kind of tucked it over here, things hanging out. And then I popped another little succulent over here. I thought the orange looked good with everything. And then I went and grabbed my little gnomes that I have from the dollar spots. And then also my little mushrooms from Hobby Lobby and just was figuring out where they go. So I have one gnome up here with a little mushroom sitting in front of him. And then I put another gnome down here kind of with my pot and my other succulent. And then I got a mushroom over here. Oh, just to... I was just trying to space them out so they look good and all the 
you know, colors flowed nice. And then since I was using that like white and tan and gray, I just grabbed one of my little houses from Hobby Lobby. And I thought that looked cute in there. And then I also grabbed my little wood house. And I did have this as a focal point, but I liked it better when I moved it to the back and just kind of used it as a filler piece and had the succulent more as the focal point. And then I also used this little bucket I've been using on everything for another filler piece in the back. And then I I added just a little more succulents and then these have like the ready burgundy tips just to give it that little extra pop of color and I thought those just look cute sitting behind the gnome and then the last thing that I added was just a little pop of greenery I tried a succulent up there and none of them I had that looked very well so I just grabbed this little pop of greenery I tried to use this greenery like throughout other parts of the tray and I didn't like that either so we just got one little pop of greenery and then the rest is all the fun succulents and I don't know why I love to use I mean I use succulents year round and different things but just like a full tray of succulents for the summer I don't know why I always lean towards that final tray I decided to do a s'more tray that's been kind of my thoughts for the summer was always like a s'mores tray which then I did use some of the pieces I got for Valentine's I really like that and I did the sweets and treats with my target tier trays so when I was putting this together I had all sorts of thoughts and ideas and it took me a a bit to come together. I did pull a lot from what I did on my Target tray and then I went and dug out the things that I had used for Valentine's and put them on there too just because I thought they were so cute and they work so well on this tray. So once again, let's just start with the cloche and you're never gonna guess what I'm gonna put in my little mini cloche. Uh, three marshmallows. So every time I've done a tray, with these marshmallows, they went in this cloche. I thought about trying something else and putting like pine cones in here or just something, but I just, there's just something about this little cloche and these three marshmallows that I just absolutely love. So why reinvent the wheel? Or not reinvent the wheel, but if I like it, why don't I just keep using it? That's kind of my thoughts on it. So then just like the Valentine tray, I used my s'more love sign here up on the top. I'm gonna get that in there, get my marshmallows peeping out the side there. And then I moved on to my other core s'mores things. So I have my little fire and I decided since this was a little bit bigger of a tray that I would prop it on a little stand and kind of give it a spotlight. And this is just from the Target Dollar Spot forever ago. Also, my wood slices would look really cute since this is kind of the wider wood. I could have used the other wood. And then also my other little item I got from Etsy for my s'mores stand and I just kind of put that front and center. And then I have, I technically have three of the little s'mores ornaments. I have just the standard one. I have one with a heart. No, I have four. I have one that's like a lumberjack with buffalo plaque. And then I have one that's in a little boat. And I really wanted to use the boat one for kind of a camping theme, but I just can't get them to work. So maybe I can find another spot for them or something, but for this one, I have the heart one and then just the original one. So I just stood the little heart one here on my book stack and I just thought that looked super cute. And then I stood my just little traditional guy up here in front. And so now I just search for some filler. So my one of my first filler thoughts was the milk canister or pitcher that I did use on my Target tier tray. So I just set that in the back. And then another one that I thought would be kind of fun would be my little sugar canister. Since I was already using one piece of Ray Dunn, I was like, well, let's just kind of stick with the Ray Dunn theme maybe a little bit. And then I did grab another bucket for a little piece of filler. I could have used that same bucket. Those colorings would have looked good, but I grabbed this one instead. And then I I knew I wanted to use pine cones on this because whenever we go camping, like I've said a million times, I always collect these little baby pine cones and big pine cones. So we are just going to fill in with some of these. And I had a couple up here and then I just kind of filled in with the rest over here by the book stack and the can just to add a little texture. And then I sat here going, what could I use? Do I want to add more red and orange and yellows or do I just want to add a pop of greenery? And I was like, I I think a pop of greenery would look good but I didn't want like a bunch of leaves or anything although like camping and outside you think of that so then I remembered I have these 
moss balls that I believe are from Walmart and they're super messy and the string falls off. They could be from Hobby Lobby too. One of the two places. I'm not 100% sure. So I have, think I have four of them, but I just used three on this tray. I kind of put one there, one there, and then I am going to pop one back up here. And I tried to set it as far over as I could so you could see it a little bit, but I don't want to cover up my marshmallows anymore. So I'm fine with it just kind of hanging out there. And so I thought that was just kind of the perfect greenery where it doesn't add a lot of bulk, but it just adds that little pop of fresh and color and that is my final tray and I just love how this turned out I'm loving every s'mores tray I make maybe I just need to make s'mores trays in my house all the time they're just a fun summer thing and they've just made me really happy this year Well, there are my three trays. I love how they all turned out. So very summery. I got ideas of what I want to do for my Target summer trays. I already have some of them that I know what I want to do and have done. And then I want to do a few more. So I got to look at Pinterest too. So those are all coming up. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'll get to decorating my house after the 4th of July. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.